What's going on guys? My name is Gia Gaming and welcome back to another episode of the Minigame Lab. Today we're looking at a fairly simple but very fun design for Minecraft boat racing. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off by talking about the start line module. It's really quite simple actually with a flip of this lever from the person in the boat. This barrier is retracted by these pistons and then the two races can speed off through the course. When it comes time to reset with another flip of the lever, the barriers are pushed back down and ready for another game. Now I do have one repeater set to the lowest setting possible so that this redstone signal can carry across all the pistons and you may need more of these repeaters depending on how big you make your actual course and how how long it is. So now we come to the actual obstacles in the main body of the course and uh, this is really where you can re let your imagination run wild and come up with any ideas you want. Me personally, I used this coral block as sort of pillars that block the player's path and make them go around and then I used magma as something that if a player sits over it too long they will get sucked down under the water and they have to forfeit the match. Now a couple quick notes about obstacles. This side is really too heavily uh, obstacled up if you will. Um, I built this one first and I tried it out in a boat and it's really way too difficult. You want something that looks like this if not less. If you want it to actually be fun and enjoyable. You may also want to consider making the course somewhat bigger so that there's more room to to boat around in because this is quite small but it's just what I could do for this sort of test version. And finally we come to the finish line module which is probably the most complicated of all the modules which still isn't saying much because it's very very easy to build. So we have two trip wires for each side of the arena. Those trip wires lead into an observer, which then rings a bell, which is detected by another, another observer, which leads into this redstone line, which will activate the lamp above that lane. Sounds super complicated, but it's really not. If you have a boat going through here, you will go through, the bell will ring, and the light will light up. And that's what the finish line module does. And finally, we have cactuses here just past the tripwire. These cactuses will break the boat once the race is finished. They also have string on top of them to prevent them from growing. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's test this out. Okay, so now we're in a boat ready to race. I don't actually have anyone who's racing with me, so you'll just have to imagine that I'm racing against someone. Also keep in mind that you can make the course as long or as big as you wanted. This is just a test course. So with a flip of this lever, that will raise the barricade, and then we can begin the racing. Oh, we need to get around these obstacles here. And uh, there's a lot of starting and stopping, which definitely means this arena could be bigger, but it's just a test. Okay, so we're approaching the trip line, and like that, the bell rings, and the light flashes as couldn't really see that so I'm going to show you again. The light flashes there and the boat breaks. So that's the design. And of course once you're done racing you can lower the barricade again and replace the boat back in the arena. So that was boat racing. A fun but simple little design that I think you could get hours of enjoyment out of both racing and building your own course. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, favorite, share, all that great stuff. Subscribe to never miss any of my geeky videos again, and I will see you guys in the next episode.